right now everybody's in the holding pattern. And so the Heat yeah. can't nor won't do anything with any other players until they figure out if they're going to get Damian Lillard. The Blazers, as we just discussed, won't take just any deal. It almost feels like it would be in Damian Lillard's best interest to open his mind to other possibilities in order to facilitate a more timely trade as opposed to holding out for a trade that, if it happens, may not happen anytime soon. Does that make sense, or is it best that he stand his ground? First off, I, I believe that's James Harden in the holding pattern over the airport right now, just circling because yeah, his, deal's not, get, his deal's yeah, not getting done before coach. Lillard's. He's in coach. <laughs> Lillard's in first class, yeah. Yeah, exactly. James ain't coached by the there's, bathroom. There's no way that like the Clippers are pulling the trigger on a Harden deal if there's a slim chance they can get in on the Lillard thing because Lillard's just a flat out better player. So, yeah, look, you're spot on. He needs to open this up a little bit if he wants to get it done timely. And all I keep hearing is you don't expect it over the weekend even. Like this is probably leaning into next week and maybe longer. He hasn't come off of the heat. If you threw somebody like you know, Brooklyn in there, Brooklyn, yeah, okay. Nobody wants the Ben Simmons contract, but they can throw five firsts in there and you can start to get into teams like Utah, which has a whole boatload of picks and some interesting young players. If you want to go back, like, I'm just curious if he's really willing to do that or if it's if it's Miami or bust. We're going to be talking about this for a while, man, because I'm just not sure how you make that deal work. It's so, I mean, it's granted, so many listen, moving parts. I, I, I mean, granted, listen, I understand wanting to go to a contender. I'm not knocking him for that. You're coming out of Portland, and that's not a contender. The last thing you're trying to do is go to a Brooklyn. If he went to Brooklyn, he might as well stay in Portland. It's the exact same situation. Yeah. With slightly, with maybe slightly better players, some can argue probably not better play. I mean, it's literally bar for bar, almost the exact same situation. I understand wanting to go to a Miami. They're the most championship ready team. You know, one of the most championship ready teams in the NBA, and they've done it with not that much talent in terms of big names. I can understand the appeal of that. On the other side of that, the unfortunate, realistic um, situation is that they don't have enough to give Portland for a player of Damian Lillard's caliber. And that's something he has to go ahead and realize like, okay, this is what I want. But is this feasible? I get it. Standing your ground and saying the way of the NBA is superstars get what they want. And it's true. That's the way we've always seen it. We saw it with Anthony Davis when he wanted to leave New Orleans. What happened? He got what he wanted. He ended up in L.A. We saw it with KD with the Golden State. Well, he left. But we saw it with KD with um, Brooklyn to Phoenix. We saw it semi with Kyrie. He got his way by getting out. It wasn't to the Lakers. It was to Dallas. But he seems to be happy because he re-signed. We've seen it before. But there was a lot more in the free market to make that possible. Dame's in a very tough situation right now. They, well, they, and the players got what they want because the teams got what they wanted. But I want to go back to a quote. Yeah. Uh, and this is from Lillard from The Last Stand. When he said, quote, they can trade me somewhere that we all see as a contender, but what is it going to cost for me to get there? How is it a guarantee that we're going to be playing in June when I get there? How do we know if everybody's going to be healthy? How do we know if it's going to work out? This is before he asked for the trade, obviously. But it's not just the the Blazers getting what they want. It's going to be at what cost to the team that you're going to as well, which I feel like that's why he should have, you know, a a more of of a broader view of this thing and say, okay, who can make the best trade and leave me with the best supporting cast? You know, I mean, because the Heat have already lost uh, Vincent and mm. Struess as well this all, all season. Of their, most of, mostly again, all of their outside shooting. Right. And, 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 and again, the longer this takes, the less the Heat are able to make any moves to fill out their supporting cast. And again, it's just so many moving parts, you yeah. know, um, whether, whether, like I mentioned, you know, the Blazers want people to take Nurkic's contract. This thing just is not clean and simple and cut and dry. And I almost wonder just how long could this drag out, Kurt? I mean, could he could he end up starting the season in Portland? I don't know that I don't know that Portland has the uh, Daryl Morey sitting out with Ben Simmons with cojones to do that, right? Harden like. Simmons, with, yeah. um, yeah. Yeah. With where? Yeah. Just sat on it with a hard. Like I'll wait this out. I can yeah. wait it out till I yeah. get what I want. 
I don't know that Portland's got that in them, but I think it's going to drag out for a while. And I'm curious, like I said, what other, because you, you're spot on. If you're talking about Miami, you're like, well, what else can they put in this deal to make it interesting? Well, Caleb Martin makes that a little more interesting, but you're now you're back to exactly that. It's like, unless poor, I mean, Hey, is Jovic ready? Like who's on that team left. That's going to suddenly step up and make plays for them. They've lost so much over the last bit that, that, it, it can't just be – if it's three guys and nobody else, well, we saw that in Phoenix last year, man. It doesn't work. Mm. Like, you've, you're you going to have to get more out there and more around them. And as great as Miami is, it's not like it's just growing on trees, man. It's like they're going to have mm-hmm. to find some players. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM channel 85.